This will be my first PvP run with the Makarial, and I can tell you right away that I really enjoy flying this ship so far. It has pretty good DPS, I actually work on making the DPS even higher. The ship is also very fast, it warps like a cruiser, and in some cases it does feel like I am flying a cruiser, although this is a big, big battleship. Now, I don't have a lot of kill marks on the Makarial, they are over here at the right side of the hull. I think I have around 30, I think that's 30. So yeah, I have to get that number up to 999, so that will be one of my goals with this ship. But overall, uh, I have imagined to fly the Makaria like I used to fly the Cinnabal. This is my primary PvP build with the Makaria. As you can see, I focused this ship only on DPS, with 3 scramblers and 1 web. Now, I use the auto cannons, although in some cases I think I might actually use the artillery cannons if the target is at long range and if we have a tackle ship then I can swap to the artillery Makarial, which also works really well. When I am with the auto cannons then I like to use the triple scrambler setup with the web basically, that is around 12 points of warp disruption which can hold most ships at the moment. And I like to use the three gyro stabilizers with one damage control, one adaptive shield hardener and one micro warp drive. Now you can easily use quad gyro stabilizers with one damage control or one adaptive shield hardener, but I think the sweet spot is with three gyro stabilizers the extra damage control and adaptive hardener can improve the shield quite a bit so that you can shoot down the target before you have to warp away. That's how I used to fly the Cinnabal and this is how I will fly the Makarial for a while. Now I tried to make the ship tanky but it did not work well. Basically I had capacitor issues. The Makarial doesn't have a very good capacitor. Maybe I'm it's docking. good with a armor tank, but in my case, if I were to use a tank on the Makarial, then I would do a shield tank. Now let me quickly show you the resistance and the DPS. I think nothing has changed from the previous Makarial video, but just to just to make sure. Overall. 48, 55, 64 and 72 should be enough for basically most scenarios and with the damage control that is up to 82, 84, 88 and 90% which will last for 18 seconds and that is more than enough to shoot down the target or more than enough time to warp away if things go wrong. So far I haven't had to warp away from a fight. I usually fight until 50% hull. The DPS is also around the same. Now my goal is to have around 5.5 thousand, maybe 6,000 DPS when I decide to equip the A types on this ship. And of course I am still working on the skills for the Makarial. Basically have to improve the cannon skills. So in a couple days that DPS should be a lot higher than it is at the moment. But so far the DPS is more than enough for most scenarios and it should work just as I have imagined it to work. Now let me quickly check something out real quick. I also want to equip B types and A types on the Makarial although they are quite expensive and some of them are actually not available on the market. But as with my other previous primary PvP ships, I like to I like to give them some pretty expensive equipment, basically to maximize the DPS, maximize the tank and speed. That's what I've been doing for almost every ship that I did fly so far and the Makarial is going to get the accepted. same treatment. 
because I believe that uh, this ship does deserve to have pretty good modules. After all, the Macarial did not disappoint so far. It did run really, really well. Okay, so uh, I guess it will be time to to take a look at the fitting window. I almost forgot that I wanted to show you something about the nano core. Now I use the dark halo nano core. I think this is one of the one of the first cores to be released. Not really sure. And I might actually go and level it up, although I haven't really decided yet, because I've heard that some new cores might be released, so I might save the materials for the Stratius, after all, the Stratius does need a nano core. So that's basically what I have planned for the Macarial, but overall I think the Dark Hail nano core should be pretty good. Overall, it does give some pretty nice DPS stats. Okay, well then, uh, I think it will be time to start with the with the PvP run. I have a very special first target, a very rare target as well, a very rare ship to be more accurate. So, uh, with that being said, I think it will be time to jump in and let's see which ships we destroy today. Alright, so I am warping to the to the gate, basically going to the optimal and closest warping to the first target. Now, I said that it is a special target, and we have a space pan. We have a Bargast. Okay, well, uh, with shaky hands, I clicked on the on the warp, so Hopefully, uh, I get lucky with the warping. Active. Hopefully, I get lucky with the tackle. Now, because that's a space pan and most likely a space pan with a lot of stabs, I have equipped quad scramblers to ensure that the space pan ain't going anywhere. So now, the only thing that I have to do is tackle the ship. Well, this should be fun. There is a space pan, it has the Ascension Nanocore, a DPS Nanocore, excellent warping. Space pan has been scrambled, and the space pan has been tackled. Okay, now it looks like this space pan has a good shield then. So, I will proceed to ram the space pan. The space pen is at around 60-50% shield. Slowly going down, now the space pen is shooting at me. It looks like the Bargast is using rapid missiles. They have been rammed, damage control has been activated. Now I have 18 seconds of pretty good resistances. The space pen has lost the uh, shield, now the space pen is into armor. They are now into hull, I am at 47% shield. And the space pen has been destroyed, excellent. And I think we got some pretty good loot as well. Let me warp away to the asteroid belt, just to be safe. Warp drive active. Okay, let's take a look at the at the kill. But first, let me align myself somewhere in space. So this was my first uh, first bar guest kill, and these things are actually quite expensive. So I'm very curious to see how much this thing costed. 12.5 billion, well not bad, pretty good kill. They did use rapid missiles, a shield tank Bargast, dual webs, a scrambler, Nosferatu and target painter. Well that's a very interesting build. And no warp crop optimizers, that is surprising. I expected at least 
nine points of of stabs on the on the space pen. Oh well, was a very nice kill. Next target, we have a Macarial, second faction battleship for today. One web and three gyro stabilizers. Basically, the normal normal build that I use on the space on the on the Macarial. This is not the Bargast. I plan to fly the Bargast. I almost called the Macarial the Bargast. Very interesting. All right, there's the Macarial. Excellent warping right in the Scrambler optimal range. Macarial has been tackled. Looks like this Macarial also has a shield tank. Let me go and approach the target. Damage control is active. They have one neutralizer, one Nosferatu and one web. My apologies, dual webs. And this Macarial also has pretty good DPS, so let me let me align myself on time. My ship at 32% shield, the other Macarial adds also 20 to 30% shield. Both of our ships are now into armor. However, the other Macarial's armor is going down faster, I am now into low armor. And the Macarial has been destroyed, nice. Okay, let me loot the wreck and let's warp away because I am at 13% armor. As you can see, a tank Macarial still can have some pretty scary DPS. And that was a very warp nice, drive active. very nice target. And those pirate ships have scratched my hull. Alright, well, that's interesting. I am left at barely any armor and my hull has been scratched. Well, let me uh, warp to the asteroid belt to wait out the criminal timer. After the criminal timer I will have to repair the armor. 4.3 billion, not bad, a solid, solid kill. Active. This was a tank Macarial. Overall very interesting. I will align myself towards a point in space with the micro up drive on. This ship is very fast and that's one of my favorite aspects of the Macarial. Now here is a rare opportunity to see me flying a cursed build ship. This is the Macarial with 6 armor repairs, well a bunch of armor repairs. Some of them are medium, some of them are large. But I guess I have to, I have to repair the armor somehow and I don't feel like paying ISK for the repair in station. But since my hole is scratched, I guess that I will have to pay for repairs whether I like it or not. I guess that's just how it goes today. But so far, this ship this this ship is performing really really well. Okay, should be the last armor repair cycle. Almost fully repaired. Okay, it's fully repaired. Let me quickly swap the build back and we Docking can continue with accepted. the, with the PDP active. roam. Warping towards the next target. I think we have another Macarial, not really sure. I guess we will find out very soon. Approach is at zero, orbit at five kilometers and yes, we have another Macarial. Well, let's quickly lock on and tackle the Macarial. They have been scrambled and webbed. That's a lot of Macarials today. 
they lost shield, now they are into armor. Well, we have four Macarials in this mission. And the Macarial has been destroyed. Nice. Well, this is a very, very nice view. The Macarial does feel like a cruiser sometimes. I think it's warp speed and overall my cobra speed makes it really, really close to cruisers. Although, don't forget that this is a big, big battleship. 3.7 billion. This Macarial did use artillery cannons, although I'm not really sure why they were at... Oh, my apologies. They were actually sniping. I thought that they were at... that they were at zero from the mission. But it looks like they did snipe because the other pirate ships are at 70 plus kilometers from our ships. Okay, let me uh, warp away and wait out the criminal timer. Alright, waiting for the fleet warp. We have, well, we have surprisingly another Macarial today. I think this is the third Macarial in this PvP roam. Not really sure why why we have so many angel battleships running around, but Warp drive I'm not complaining. I like to destroy big boats. Okay, landing. This is the classic Macarial build that I use. There is the Macarial. Well, there is there is two Macarials. Or three Macarials, depends how you look at things. Let me quickly go and scramble them. They have been scrambled. The Macarial lost shield. Now they are into armor. The Macarial's armor is rapidly going down. They activated the damage control as our DPS has been drastically reduced. And the Macarial has been destroyed. Nice. And also a very nice explosion. Okay, let's uh, warp to the asteroid belt again. And then I can take a look at the kill. Warp drive active. Four point five billion, not bad. Pretty nice loot as well. We got some very expensive Nosferatus from that one Macarial. That's the second or third Vriolika's large Nosferatu for today. Which is very nice. They go for around four hundred million on the market. A very expensive module. Okay, we have... We don't have anything actually, hold a second. We have, we have a raven, okay. Warping at 100 kilometers. I will go and tackle the raven. They use large cruise missiles at 100 active. kilometers. So they should not have a lot of DPS. And perhaps they don't have a good tank as well, because they are using the Raven for sniping. But we will find out very soon. Okay, there is the Raven. Doesn't look like the Raven is aligned. They have been locked and they have been tackled. Okay, let's ram the Raven. They are losing shield very quickly. Orbit at one kilometer. The Raven is now into armor. The Raven is now into hull. And the Raven has been destroyed. Nice. Let's take a look at the wreck. Pretty good loot. 
pretty good loot. Almost all C types. And now let's uh, warp away to the asteroid belt. Asteroid cluster in this case. And I will take a look at the kill. So far, my idea to use the Macario like the Cinnabel actually works really well. 700. 771 million, not bad. This was a sniper raven. Overall, a pretty solid build for long range combat. Was right when I guessed that they would not have a good tank on the on the raven. But that worked in my case because I have high DPS and no tank as well. So in such a combination, the ship with the higher DPS will most likely win. Next target we have one Apocalypse. I'm warping to the Apocalypse, they are also a sniper. They were not aligned when I scouted with the Stratius. Warp so I should be able to, to tackle them without a problem. Dual Scrambers, one Web and one Nosferatu. Not really sure why I have this build, but I guess it should be enough. Well, hello there. That's a very close warping. Let's quickly scramble and web the, the, the apocalypse. The apocalypse webbed and scrambled. They lost shield very quickly. Now they're losing armor. The apocalypse is into hole. And the apocalypse has been destroyed. Nice. Let's take a look at the wreck. Also very nice loot. Some C types, some drones. You know, useful stuff that can be sold on the market for a decent price. And now let's warp to the asteroid field, asteroid group, or Warp cluster, however you like to call them. In this case, asteroid group, I guess, that's how the name suggests. Well, not bad. 524 million, they had six heat sinks, that's a very interesting build for the apocalypse. Not really a build for, for low sack, but I guess if it works, it works. Let me align and let's wait out the criminal timer. Warping to the next target, we have another battleship. I think we have a Warp Tempest. Drive active. Yes, we have a Tempest, okay. Now the ship is in warp. This time I have quad gyro stabilizers, which means maximum possible DPS. Approach at zero, there is the Tempest. This Tempest is a armor tank. Let's quickly remove the armor. The Tempest is into hole, and the Tempest has been destroyed. That was quick. Now let's warp away. The cycle on my gyro stabilizers hasn't even finished, and the ship was destroyed. The Macario has some pretty fantastic active. DPS. I think the main thing about this ship is the speed and DPS. The Macarial is not built to be a chunk battleship, but that's okay. I also like ships with really high DPS, and of course, I like fast ships. Let's take a look at the kill, not bad. C-type autocannons, triple webs and a neutralizer, very interesting build. Let me align myself and let's wait out the criminal timer. Now, here we are waiting for a couple ships to warp back to the... I think it's one of the new sleeper missions that have been released. 
where you can find the implant materials and I realized that we have a pretty nice fleet assembled over here. Three Macarios and one Belgorn and it looks like we are also flying in a formation. Overall a very nice, very nice image. I think that will be the thumbnail, not really sure. But yeah, I think this looks really nice. The Macarial definitely has one of the one of the nicest hull designs in in Eve. One of the more unique looking ships, to be more accurate. And that's why I did want to get the Macarial as my first faction battleship almost two years ago. I really liked the ship in EVE Online and I like the Macarial in this game as well. Although in EVE Online I haven't been using the Macarial for for PvP. Okay, let's go to the to the location we have one one ship has been engaged, which means the three other ships warp drive active. are in warp. Hopefully I am not going to arrive too late. Okay, there is the Typhoon. Now hopefully the rest of the Typhoon's fleet will warp. And they also have the criminal timer which means that we will not have any timers. So that's that's nice. And I think that we have warped a little bit too soon because it looks like the rest of the fleet did not click warp or they cancelled warp. So we kinda rushed this one. There was a Typhoon 2, the Typhoon that we destroyed and two other battleships but unfortunately they did not warp in. So we managed to only shoot down that one battleship. And honestly that's okay. Sometimes, I guess, we we do mess up. Let's take a look at the kill. Not bad. They used rapid missiles. And I think they also used the um, cruise missiles as well. Not really sure why they mixed the weapons, but I guess that's, that's okay. And let's go towards the warp next active. target. In warp. We have one prophecy and unfortunately the prophecy is far away. This is one of the moments where I wish that I had artillery cannons because I would be able to hit the prophecy from this range. I have been pointed, okay. I have two points on my ship and I have been webbed. Well I guess let me see what I can do about that. I have two interdictors, okay, let's focus fire on them first. The prophecy is, well, dead, so I wasn't able to shoot at the prophecy, but that's okay. I will not complain about that. Did not want to get the criminal timer while in this uh, storyline mission. I think this is a storyline mission. Let me quickly shoot down all the ships that have points and then I can warp away. Okay, nice. Now I can now I can warp away. Let's take a look at the prophecy kill. Well not bad. A balanced build prophecy between DPS and armor resistance. Okay, let's warp to the to the gate just to be safe. No criminal timer, okay. Would be funny if I had a criminal timer and I did not notice that. Would be one dead Macario, but thankfully that 
will not happen today. And this was a storyline mission. All right, nice. Warp drive active. Well then, uh, this was a fantastic Macarial PvP run, and this was probably one of my best PvP runs in a very long time. The first space pan kill is special. That's the first space pan kill in in my corporation, I believe, and one of the most expensive ships that I have destroyed in a very long time. So, I really hope that you enjoyed, it was a very very nice PvP run, the first PvP run with the Macariel. And with that being said, stay safe, fly safe, and I'll see you next time.